Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me today. All right. So, making good progress on this Majora's Mask piece. Today, I'm going to be working on um, Anju's face, I think. <laughs> which is kind of purpley because it's like twilight and she's in shadow, so it looks kind of weird, but I'm going to trust the pattern and hope that it does look right when we're finished, so. <sighs> it looked good on the mock-up, so I'm going to assume and the thumbnail, so I'm gonna assume it's gonna look right when it's done, I hope. <laughs> but yeah, those always make me a little nervous when it doesn't look like the colors you quite expect that it to be. When you're first stitching, yeah. So I think this is going to be my last session until after Christmas, so. Yeah, and as Christmas falls on a Sunday, this year, that's my normal upload day. I think I'm going to be um, uploading on the Boxing Day instead. So. All that just to do one stitch. <laughs> As that happens sometimes. So I've been kind of working in this section, sort of some is from the bottom up, some is from the top down, and it's kind of meeting in the middle there. So that's just sort of, whoops, oh, that was already threaded, I think. And I probably just unthreaded it, oh well. Yeah, that's just sometimes how my stitching method works out. Yeah, so I wrapped Christmas presents yesterday. It's funny because my husband and I, like I've said before, we just pick our own stuff, what we want. We have a budget. And uh, he always wants it wrapped anyway, even though it's like he picked it so he knows what it is. But <laughs> So, uh, yeah, he, um, he had me wrap the movies he picked out. Of course, I wrapped the kid's gift, kiddo's gift because, you know, gifts because uh that's important <laughs> for them but uh yeah my own um I bought myself like I said a new crafting lamp uh because I just don't have quite enough daylight for as many hours as I like to stitch uh so I just took the box that it came in and stuck a bow on it because <laughs> I was lazy to actually wrap it because <laughs> I don't really care whether I have something to unwrap or not you know Oh, I'm happy I got my presents, so, yeah. He's probably going to say, well, why didn't you wrap it? Ah, because it's too, it's more work and I don't feel like it. <laughs> ah, I used to really like wrapping gifts when I was younger, but I don't know. Now it's just like one more chore to do, so... <laughs> I know I have um, an aunt who really loved wrapping gifts and she always made them so creative. Like she had, once she gave us a puzzle, so it's just, you know, a rectangular box, but uh, she kind of put, made it look like a little robot or something with like, uh, yeah, little arms and legs she attached with like cardboard tubes and stuff. And then she wrapped those and yeah, it was really neat. It seemed a shame to rip it open, you know, after all that artistic work went into it. Yeah, it's funny how much we like to do sometimes art with stuff that doesn't last, like like gingerbread houses or ice sculptures or, or food. I've seen some amazing cakes people have made that it's just like, it seems such a shame to cut into them and eat them. I mean, I guess good thing we have pictures at least, but uh, yeah, my um, my husband's brother is really good at cakes. Um, 
he's made some amazing ones for his kids' birthdays. He'd made a, a Lightning McQueen cake uh, one year. And uh, it was actually funny because when they went to cut it, they made McQueen look scared first with the knife coming at him. And then his son got all upset that they messed up McQueen's face, so they had to put it back <laughs> the way it was. Uh, he made a dinosaur one. Like, it was like a, not a sheet cake in the shape of a dinosaur. It was actually like a 3D, like, dinosaur cake. It was, yeah, incredible. My dad could make cakes like that, too. He was actually studying to be a baker at one point. So, yeah, he made some that looked like uh, my teddy bear when I was little. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, I said... I don't know why, but cake decorating is something I'm just hopeless at. I can bake the cake, and it tastes fine, but I don't know. Maybe, again, it's like I was saying that my, my drawing and painting skills are not so good because it's, like, freeform. So maybe that's it, right? Decorating a cake is more freeform, not, you know, like, lines to color in. So maybe that's why I'm not good at it. I don't know. My mother-in-law is really good at it, too. She actually um, she made our wedding cake. So, yeah, it was it was really nice. She made a few practice ones, so the uh, the younger kids that were still at home at the time, they certainly didn't mind because they got to eat them. <laughs> but yeah, she tried with the um the layers that were the styrofoam that you just cover with icing, but um they didn't look quite the same as the actual cake because of course real cake doesn't have straight edges right uh so um when she made our cake she actually made all of the layers were real cake so there was a lot of cake <laughs> man i read there was a couple they saved their cake topper for like an important anniversary like you know 25 years or something in their freezer and uh, when they went to eat it and cut it, they discovered that the top was styrofoam. So they'd had it in their freezer for 25 years and it wasn't even real cake. Like, whoops. <sighs> oh my gosh. Pardon me. I'm a little tired this morning. I said my husband's gone away for a few days, so I've had to be the one uh, getting up to... Uh, take kiddo to school usually my husband does it and I sort of just get up right before they leave and give them a kiss goodbye but uh yeah now I've been the one who's having to get up and make the breakfast so <laughs> I'm tired yeah we used to like just let kiddo have his own breakfast whatever he wanted but we found when he was eating just cereal he was having difficulty um concentrating and apparently one of my friends said they had the same thing. The doctor said, hey, well, you're kind of, his brain is starving. You know, he needs some protein or something in the morning. So, so yeah, we make him some scrambled eggs now in the morning. Something that'll last longer than cereal, right? Okay. I mean, kiddo does know how to make his own eggs, but yeah, dad does it anyway. Then he makes them for himself too, so works out. The French toast, that kind of thing. Okay, let's see. I think end up with some different threads here we shall see yeah okay ah yes I know what I'm gonna do not sure if this will be big enough but we'll give it a shot yeah at least it's warmed up a little today it's only minus six celsius today so that's not bad at all. Oh, oh no, okay. For a second I thought I'd made a mistake, but I did not. Just looked wrong at first glance, but that was my fault. <laughs> 
Yeah, so moving as not as many blues, more into purples here. Yeah, the, I like this pattern is kind of, um, it's like twilight for everything and then Link in the middle is kind of brightly lit. So he really pops out of the picture, which is cool. I think in this pass across the pattern, it's 60 rows. I think that's low enough that we're actually going to get the very top of Link's hat. So then we'll get some more greens into the mix. Yeah, I'll have to get the last of my baking done. And double check I have all the ingredients I need for Christmas dinner. Yeah, I don't cook a turkey because nobody in my family is a huge turkey fan. And to cook a whole turkey for three people, that's a lot. So yeah, I make chicken instead. We like that better. I actually bought one of those Butterball... Um, turkey roasts that was just like breast meat um and it was kind of shaped almost like a ham but um i don't know it just tasted different maybe it was some preservatives in it or whatever but yeah it wasn't the same as fresh turkey so i haven't done it again yeah i'm pretty sure i'm a super taster I'm one of those people who can taste things other people can't like um someone gave us a crock pot and I tried it, but the problem was I can taste the stone that it's cooked in because it's a stone insert and it tastes like rocks. Yeah. People are like, what do you mean you can taste that? I said, I can though. It has to be stainless steel or ceramic. And then somebody said, well, you know, you can buy the um, inserts that go in them, like the oven bag kind of things. You can buy those for crock pots because they make them so that it's easy cleaning. I said, yeah, but then it's going to smell like, or taste like plastic to me. So, yeah. So I like my Instant Pot because it's stainless so it doesn't make the food taste different. Okay. Let's take a look. Might just do a few stitches of this color here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is a short piece. Yeah, I remembered that, so. Yeah, there's going to be a whole whack of this color across the next couple diagonals. Here, I can see. Yeah, those big blocks of color sure make it go fast. This whole section here just zoomed by because, uh, yeah, it was only about seven or eight colors, and there was some that was quite a lot of this, this 797, there's quite a lot of that color, so it went really quick. There's a bit more confetti here, since obviously her face is going to have a bit more detail. Yeah, it's very purple. <laughs> but she's in shadow, so... I'm assuming it's going to work. <laughs> yeah, this isn't a designer I've used before. It was a pattern I found on Etsy. Oh, it was funny. The whole reason I self-charted my Firefly, big Firefly pattern that I'm doing. Because I went on, I went online, I was looking for patterns and there was just like some little ones that were the kind of almost like cartoony look of the characters. They were cute, but not really what I was looking for. And um, 
And then I found one and it had, you can't take this guy from me in front of the TARDIS. I was like, um, that's not the same phantom. That's Doctor Who. Like, what? Oh. Like, so I'm guessing designed by someone who isn't actually a fan? <laughs> I don't know. Like, have they actually sold any? Because anybody who's part of either fandom is going to know that doesn't fit. It's funny, I remember um, when the Think Geek store was still still around, um, they had different stuff and uh, they had a sonic screwdriver. <laughs> and it was an actual working screwdriver that you could buy. That was pretty cool. My husband got some Star Wars ones. <clears throat> yeah, I got a, I got a Starfleet uh, messenger bag, laptop bag from them. I got it in the medical bluey green color. They also had one um, that was um, the Sheikah slate from Breath of the Wild, Legend of Zelda, which I thought was really cool. But I mean, I already had a bag, so I didn't buy it because I didn't need another one. In fact, I don't even carry a bag anymore. I just have my phone and uh, I have the cards I need are in holder on the phone so yeah because I found carrying a bag was messing me up because uh, I could only carry it on one shoulder the other one it always fell down so it was always pulling on the one side and yeah then my neck would get sore so I finally had to stop carrying it and I don't have to carry a book around with me anymore because now I have the Kindle app on my phone because <laughs> yeah I used to actually carry a couple of paperbacks with me in case I had some time to wait somewhere but then yeah with smartphones now it's on my phone so there's no need to uh to carry it around i used to carry my kindle around but yeah since i have the app on my phone i don't bother although yeah that was one thing i like i said i was never going to become an ebook person but uh i really like being able to carry a thousand books around <laughs> Yeah, and they really get you sometimes if you're reading a series, right when you get to the end, the next one will pop up and it will ask you if you want to buy it. And it's so nice. Like, there you are in your pajamas. You can just one-click buy and boom, the next book is there. I'm not a big series reader, but I have had a few. <coughs> <coughs> or if I do read series, I kind of like the books that you can still read them as a standalone well I read a lot of romance so <coughs> pardon me a lot of those are pretty self-contained stories they'll have characters from like the same family or something that can cross over into other books but each one is generally its own complete story yeah they said people had to get used to that with the uh Netflix Bridgerton series because it was based on a series of romances by Julia Quinn and people were not used to the fact that the lead couple from the first season was not going to really be much in the second season you know they're not used to that with TV if you're not a romance reader because that's how those books work they might come visit or something but they're not the main characters anymore <clears throat> they had their own book or season as the case may be oh man her face is really purple <laughs> mm. Not purple in the game but I guess she's in shadow so yeah man her side quest was really hard this was the one when he had to get her and her fiance back together the fiance who'd been turned into a child by the uh the skull kid and his magic Majora's mask oh that one was difficult I think when my husband and I were playing it 
we must have gone something like 30 tries before we got it because there were just so many bits to that side quest that could go wrong. I remember there's one where he gives you <clears throat> a necklace to give to her so that she will know the message came from him because he figures she's not going to recognize him if he still looks like a kid because uh, he got changed magically. And um, if you forget to... Uh, if you forget to bring the necklace with her, then she um, she flees with her family up to the ranch. And uh, so when you get there, her wedding dress is in the room and uh, her fiance comes in and says, oh, you know, isn't her dress pretty and stuff, but she isn't there and they don't get married. So, yeah, like I said, there was so many, you had to carry messages back and forth and you had to be at the right time for certain things and yeah. That was a tough one. And I remember even um, you can put on different masks and talk to the happy mask salesman and he'll often tell you something about it. And then that one, when you get it, he kind of laughs and says, oh, you went to a lot of trouble to get that mask, didn't you? The couple's mask is what you get from that, from that quest. Yeah. I was like, yeah, no kidding. It took us so many tries to get it. And you can start that quest early on in the game, but you can't finish it until you're quite far along because some of it takes place up in Ikanya, Canyon, Canyon, blah. And uh, you cannot get up there until you're like ready to do the fourth big uh, dungeon. So, yeah. But yeah, you can take the uh, reservation key and then steal the guy's money, which is like a hundred bucks. <laughs> we used to joke about that, like, yeah, what a, what a hero, you know. He smashes into people's houses, breaks their, you know, breaks all their pots and steals their money. Uh, so heroic. Uh, there's one in Ocarina of Time when you're carrying the, um, the Zora princess around on your head or whatever. And if you get hit by... Um, one of those little shooting, um, what you might call them, otter rocks, I think they're called, in the water, and they shoot like rocks at you. And if you get shot by one of those, uh, you drop the princess and you're, you're uh, behind her. So I said, you know, what a hero. There he is hiding behind the princess. <laughs> oh. oh, these got a little bit tangled more than usually I can get these apart, but I think... Yeah, there we go. Had to unthread a bit to work these apart. Sometimes that happens. Okay, there we go. See if this is yeah I unthreaded this of course so I'm just gonna set it aside it is kind of in that diagonal but yeah sometimes I do that it depends if I feel like re-threading or not <clears throat> Snagged. There we go. <clears throat> 
the loop around uh, one of my part threads there that did not work <laughs> okay so I think this is her eye yeah her right eye I think this is Yeah, I posted a video of how I manage my multiple needles and I had someone saying, you know, I like how the all the messy threads and then the neat stitching. I say, yeah, I find that pretty satisfying myself. It's all chaos and then it becomes nice and neat. It's funny, it's like, uh, I always liked detangling things when I was a kid. When my mom's necklaces and stuff would get all tangled together, I'd be the one who'd take them apart. <laughs> Or when yarn got all knotted up, yeah. I don't know, maybe it's because I like doing puzzles and stuff, so it's kind of similar, right? Trying to see how it fits together and figure out how to how to get it apart without uh, damaging any of it. I think this is her other eye. Part of it anyway. And then she's got her pointy elf ear. <laughs> is still threaded. No, it's not. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. Do, do, do. Okay. This thread I'm going to carry up instead of down. So I'm going to start down this corner and then carry it along this edge. there. 
Uh, this one is very short, so I will have to start a new one soon. <clears throat> yeah, that's all I'm going to get out of that. You can tell where the detailed parts are because uh, they have more part threads coming out of them <laughs> as opposed to the background. this color in this area. husband's driving home today so tomorrow I won't have to get up quite so early. Uh, I'm 
tomorrow I'm planning to bake another batch of gingerbread cookies so you can take them to work. <laughs> yeah, they were a big hit last year, so. Yeah, and I had to go find some more uh, candies for them. Use them all up on the gingerbread house. I thought there were more in the bag of M&Ms than that, but there wasn't. <laughs> Yeah, it was good. I had my batch of, or my uh, recipe for uh, royal icing had three egg whites, and I discovered last year it made way too much. Even for two batches of gingerbread, I had so much left over. So this year I only did two egg whites, and yeah, I am, st I'm gonna need the second batch of cookies to use it up. I might still have some left over. It makes a lot more than than you'd think. Well, you have to add quite a lot of icing sugar to it to uh, to get it to um, the proper consistency. Yeah, in Canada, we call it icing sugar. Other places, they call confectioner's sugar. So I had to Google it to make sure it was the same thing. <laughs> well, a lot of places call it frosting, but yeah, in Canada, we call it icing. Yeah, it's funny the different terms we have for the same thing. Like somebody had a picture of a shopping cart and saying, what do you call it? And there were people who were saying it's a buggy or it's a wagon. I was like, wow, I'd never heard either of those terms used. It's always been shopping cart. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's interesting the different regional things you get. Like um, bagged milk is a Canadian thing, but um, it's more of a central and east coast thing now because... Um, we used to have it when I was a kid here on the West Coast, but I haven't seen it in years. They still sell the little jugs for it. They're like these weird sort of oval containers. And then you put the bag in and you snip the corner off and pour the milk out like that. Um, and yeah, you can still buy those containers, but I haven't seen the actual bags of milk for a long, long time. Yeah, it was funny because they had people were just like, well, how do you open it? Like, doesn't it just go everywhere when you open it? It's like, well, you don't rip it open like a cereal bag. Yeah, you have to just snip a little corner off. And we even would put a twist tie around it. Although you can't really get those anymore. Yeah, the grocery stores changed their bag design so that you can tie the, the handles up, so you can't get twist ties anymore. There used to be. Yeah, it's funny when uh, my husband and I first got married, we discovered we did up twist ties opposite of each other's ways. So <laughs> you would uh, try to get out a piece of bread after the other person had used it. This didn't quite go down in the right spot. Let's try that again. Um, and you'd end up twisting it closed more instead of opening it because, yeah, we did it opposite ways. I don't know, maybe it's because he's, like, left-handed for some things, so. And I'm right-handed, so. But, yeah, he's cross-dominant. He's not left-handed for everything. He's left-handed for writing and um, eating. But um, he says that then he fires a gun with the other hand and uses a lot of his tools with his right hand, so. Apparently, that's more common if you're dyslexic, which we suspect he is. Nobody caught it when he was a kid, but uh, yeah, I noticed like that he he mixes up his uh, B's and D's when he's writing sometimes. Ah, those were definitely her eyes. You can tell now that I've stitched more of it, this area. So 
see if I can get the last three stitches out of that little bit left knot. Okay. not leaving that one threaded because it's a really short thread and it's not going to stay anyway. I've been working on the um, Marvelous Garden, just the top left where it's almost all white because it's a cloud. And I have to say, yeah, I've discovered that there's definitely a difference in neatness between um, when I park like this without leaving gaps and when I didn't because at the top there's sort of a bit of light blue. And so I just stitched that and then I'm filling it in with the white and I do notice that the stitches are definitely not as neat now that I'm filling in gaps that way, so. Yeah, I mean, it might not be enough that anyone else would notice, especially unless they're getting really close, but yeah, I did, I do notice for me, so that is why I switched to this way of stitching. I like how tidy it is. come a long way because when I first started I didn't know you were supposed to make the top leg of your your stitch always go in the same direction so yeah it's a difficulty with that well, I thought what's the difference but yeah apparently it does although there's been some people who've actually done that on purpose they said so like the background they had them cross one way and then the detail cross the other way so that the texture made it really stand out which is pretty cool I don't think I could remember to do that though <laughs> Lots of different colors here because her eye has so much detail. Can't wait for the next Breath of the Wild uh, game to come out. Oops, I think that unthreaded. That happens sometimes. No prob.
Okay. Yes, this is kind of the shortest piece that I can still manage to make a stitch out of. It's just long enough to do loop start, do one stitch, and end it off. Just barely. But it is perfect then for one lone stitch by itself. So that is why I bother to save them. Perfect. Love when the thread runs out at the same time that I run out of stitches I have to do with that color. This one is really cutting it close. <laughs> yeah, I think this one was actually even shorter than the last one. But, yeah, we got it. <laughs> So these are out of the diagonal, but it's not going to close anything in to do them, so I'm going to do them anyway. Sometimes I do that.
in this way. I don't have to add another thread yet because I can carry this one back up to this corner right here. Yep. So I won't have to have another thread. Not that that usually bothers me, but hey, when I can avoid it, I will. Yeah, almost done with this diagonal. So I might as well finish this diagonal in this session, and that's where we'll stop. Seems like a logical place. Perfect. This piece is just long enough for this stitch. Like when I finish a diagonal and then my threads are all kind of tucked away neatly before I start again and make them all messy again. <laughs>
Okay, let's mark that and perfect. That is where we will stop for today. So um, thanks so much for joining me today. Uh, I hope that you have a great Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. Um, I hope if you're traveling that you have a safe travel. Um, I hope that if this is a difficult time of year for you, for whatever reason, that you have peace. Um, and just as usual, thank you so much for joining me. And I hope to see you here again next time. All right, thanks everyone. Bye.